Is that it? Yep. Oh. Oh. So I'm brand new strings on the guitar. Switzerland in October. So we have uh, nine shows lined up so far. And, uh, Martin Myers is into here. I'm very excited about it because we play beautiful places. You can check them out on uh, Martin Myers uh, Presents uh, our website. And uh, you can go to our website. You can, you can find all the shows on our website, KrugerBrothers.com. And uh, you can find where you can buy tickets. Um, looking forward to see all our friends, Hansi, Loser, <laughs> Mark Gerber, and you know all the all the good friends we have over there. Uh, There's still a show sometimes floating around that we had canceled a long, long time ago. Which one? The one on the 18th of October, something like that. Which one? I don't know if it's Floyd or something like that. Fletcher. I Fletcher. Think. No, yeah. that's that's not. Happening. I know, but it's it's still floating out on the internet. So. Oh, okay. Uh, no, uh, it's, 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 I'm, be, I'm pretty sure it's been. There won't be any shows. An old. We, we don't have anything else coming up. Right? Nothing. Nothing in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Well, we play we play in Asheville on Sunday. Asheville. Yeah. This Asheville. Is, this, uh, tomorrow. Uh, this is uh, uh, two this, days. This, this Sunday. It's just gonna be a trio show. But Asheville's already sold out. 
So yeah, we're just gonna sit there as a trio and play nice play a music. Bit. Is, it, is it in the afternoon, Joe? What is it? Any idea? It's, it's late afternoon. It's, mm-hmm. I don't think it's. No, because uh, it's a dinner. It's a dinner show. New strings on as well. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> you did too. Well, I did. Didn't what I? kind of strings did you put on? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of strings? The, 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 it's the ones that I put on last week. But bass strings. Me, yeah. <laughs> bass strings. <laughs> one minute. <laughs> huh? Jody put new strings on. <laughs> so Jody did too. One, one more minute. <laughs> <clears throat> There's well, something in the air. Yeah, I really have to be careful. Pollen alerts the last couple of weeks here. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Check, check. Sounds good for you, Jody? to you from beautiful Wilkes County in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, we invite you to the musical world of the Kruger Brothers. Sit back, relax, and welcome to the show with your hosts, the Kruger Brothers. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's good. It's Friday again, and so very happy to play for you. I uh, can't wait. Uh, uh, it's, it's been great. Our special guest... Uh, Jody again. Is, is here again, yep. and we had lots of comments how tall Jody looks. Uh, there's he's, there, there's he's a reason us. for that. And it's because we're so small. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's because we're so small. No, it, it's, uh, I'm, I'm six feet, but uh, Jody is a little taller than that. He's like eight, f- eight foot seven. <laughs> he's, eight. <laughs> he's six eight. So yeah, he, we, he is, we look he's like a tall. hobbits is next to he's, you. He's a yeah. tall man. <laughs> It's angle. not the camera angle. <laughs> That's what I always say when people say that I'm slightly pudgy. <laughs> it's, like, it's only the camera angle yeah, of that side. <laughs> <laughs>
there is this deep aching pain But how long, how long, how long, oh baby, how long Thank you. Right into Ooh, how long. That out of, <laughs> right at the beginning, huh? Yeah. Well, that was our sound check today. <laughs> Pretty much was our sound check today. Yes, it was. So we had lots of requests, but uh, we had to fulfill. Now we have to play one that's actually Joel's request. Yes. Ever since we started playing all these shows, and we have never played it. <laughs> Since it's like five months, yeah, five, four, five months. Every time we sit down, yeah. Joel is like, "Hey, how about Bonaparte's we... retreat?" And he just, just, just get overheard, you know. It's just like, no. But I never give up. That's that's one thing about me. I just I figure every time I ask, and eventually it pays off. And here we are, and here we're going to do it for you now. I think Jens is probably one of the best claw hammer banjo players on the earth. Oh come on, and, Joel. Uh, Aside from being one of the best banjo players in the world. Oh, come on. Really, oh, oh. But Joel, really, Joel, the, no, yeah, you don't the, have to the do that. Sound, the sound that's created from the claw hammer banjo is just so, you know, unique and native kind of to this area of the Appalachians. It's just a, a really such a magical, mystical kind of atmosphere that it sets. Joel, and, Joel and are, are, you, are you somehow scared that you're going to lose your job or something? Uh, <laughs> after 31 and a half years, I don't think so. 
<laughs> but you never know. <laughs> well, you know, um, many years ago, I was asked by Hauk Metford, a great man, um, and he, he, he asked me if I could maybe write something for the Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, it didn't work out. Uh, too bad. Yeah. But, I, I, but, I, but I ended up writing a lot, you know, two more pieces for, you know, for the Appalachians, like Roll Mountain and Appalachian Concerto. But I put together a demo for him uh, with, uh, with an orchestra, orchestra arrangement for uh, Bonaparte's Retreat. Mm -hmm. And I was just the other day, I was with my daughter Anya in Charlotte, and she, she had it on her computer and she let it run. I said, wow, I haven't heard that in a long time. So this is another one I'm going to send out to Anya tonight. And, and to Jujo, in case you can hear it so far away. <laughs> I'll, I'll tune in. So here's in. <laughs> version of Bonaparte's Retreat.
pretty little tune. So magical for me, really. That sound is just... But the, you know, sometimes when you get into these old time sessions and they do it, people start at different points than we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it gets me all confused. Words. You know what we did? We recorded it once with Michael Cleveland for the Carolina Scrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you're all familiar with Michael Cleveland. Oh, gosh, yes. Uh, seriously, one of the greatest musicians of all time, period. Jens, didn't you use the other banjo for Stream and Campbell? I did use this one. Oh, the low one, yes. The one that I tuned that down. <laughs> That's why you, you are some, maybe sometimes wonder why do I switch banjos. On, on a live situation, I, I, we, we talk and I retune the banjo. But here it would take too long and maybe not quite in tune. So I, so I have a banjo that's tuned down. The Carolina Scrap Book, is that what you and Michael Cleveland played the Orange Blossom Special? Yes. Yeah. I, I listened to that today on the way down. <laughs> well, on the way that's up a pretty... Mountain, that's just a little bit. Yeah. 20, what, 25 years ago, 20 years ago? Yeah. How fast that guy was playing back then, how fast you guys it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yep. it's I think insane is a good descriptive. But uh, you know, this is this is one streamline cannonball. It's um, well, yeah, I think Roy Ake of tune, but we love Doc's version. Uh, so, so I think we want to cut it off. We start off a little bit with just drums. And it's up there. <laughs> one, two. Three. Thank 
terrible. My turn was the first one. I remember the first time I heard this on this Doc Watson Lav and Pickin record that we had, remember? <laughs> yeah, we were living out in the country in Switzerland. We had horses and uh, we had a restaurant and a butcher's store, actually. Uh, we didn't, uh, we were not set up to kill the animals, we just bought the half, half pigs and we took them apart and made sausages out of them and um, it was a good time. Uh, would sometimes Lots of charcuterie. <laughs> charcuterie. It was, really long, was a good, good time. My favorites on there. I don't know. Just have to tune a little bit. Yeah, it's called Margarete, a mama's name. Really worth getting in tune for. It's it's written. I, I, I've written this, this piece uh, with the string quartet in mind, actually. Um, and someday maybe we get to play again with the Contras quartet. Yeah. We really miss Francois and Jean and Ben. ben. Yeah. Eleanor. Eleanor, yeah, she's great. I love playing with Eleanor. Sitting beside Eleanor, she's like a really happy bug. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, a little Margarita.
<laughs> a one loud note in there, but it was, it was nice, actually. It's I didn't hear nice. it. It's very nice. It was nice. It was a 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 nice. Uh, this is another one that we really sometimes like to jam on, uh, something that um, came up with a few years ago. I just got to do the half of the intro or do the whole thing? Yeah. Just the half, half yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to add we're going to add that half somewhere randomly in between. <laughs> <laughs> It'll show up just somewhere to throw else. Up Jody. Just to <laughs> 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 what happens to Jody. Well, there's been a lot of requests, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so, uh, somebody was writing this. This is called uh, Once I Had a Sweetheart, and we penned this yep. a while ago. Yeah. I think Robert I cannibalized Spaces. one of my brother's tunes, but uh, no, no, you did. it came out pretty good, so. It's great. One. Once I had a sweetheart And why she left me, I don't know Wouldn't even write a letter Telling why she had to go Go and look out for another That's so hard for me to do Friends, they all say we on your way instead of sitting round and feeling blue love don't last forever if you're not careful all the time you might lose your one and only just as fast as I lost mine I believe that she was happy That I was wrong My love is gone And I'm all alone She left me with this old heartbroken song
I had a sweetheart I wouldn't worry anymore Dream on of a blue-eyed beauty I could carry through the door All my lonely nights be over If I could find that special one When will I find my peace of mind When will all these lonely nights be gone Like they should in my brain. No, 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 either, no, no. So. My, that was fun. That was. That was, mm -hmm. was okay. Yeah, I couldn't hear my, couldn't hear my guitar. Really yeah, well, well my yeah, banjo is so like, much louder. My words are that when I play guitar, I couldn't hear. Yep. Did it sound okay? Sounds wonderful. That's okay. Well, no more guitar for today, I think. Um, okay. Uh, what else we got? What else you got there, Wichita? Folks, I hope you're doing great out there, and um, everything is in in shape. And Do we have enough time. We have oh. plenty of time. Oh, yes. great, 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 great. No, no, no. No, I want to thank you again, uh, again, and again, and again for your donations, because otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here um, and playing music for you. Uh, it looks like we're having a talk with our management, and maybe it looks like we can. Uh, start, you know, booking more shows maybe next year, mm -hmm. see how we can, uh, you know, uh, get these things, get the show on the road again somehow. Uh, in the meantime, we're just happy that uh, Peabody, Peabody's coming in and Melissa's doing such a great work with the camera and uh, Jody's helping us on percussion so much. Mm -hmm. You know, without Jody, we couldn't have never done this, you know, all these different styles of music, you know, without a percussion, it's not possible. Yeah. You know, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we're going to do another one that uh, we get requests for all the time, and uh, uh, this thing is called Choices, and we're going to put it together with a little thing called Sarah, Wild and Woolly Sarah. Yeah. So. People have asked us before, well, who's Sarah? Why Sarah? And. Uh, I, I tell you a story. I tell you a story real quick. Okay. Um, I was living in Sch in Schneisingen, beautiful little town, with my children, uh, with family, you know, um, in 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 a uh, beautiful little village. My my ch um, um, daughters went to school there, and uh, their best friends, you know, in school, they had a little baby, and and it had a, a heart uh, uh, condition. Uh, condition and it, uh, so it was a few, a few months old and the whole village knew that the, the little baby was ill and, and it needed to be operated on. And I was in the middle of recording the album The Bridge and I was up in the attic, you know, having my home studio up there, you know, recording it. And, um, and that night, you know, when the little girl got operated on, uh, I came up with this Well, I, I did not, not, not tell the story much because it's sad. Uh, the girl didn't survive the night. And so I uh, came up with a more severe second part for it. And uh, where we, where it's not as pretty. But that's the story behind Sarah. And the girl's name was Sarah. So a long time ago. But here we go. With Choices and Sarah. Choices about Uwe and me <laughs> leaving home a long time ago. Place you once called home 
just to find where you belong. Now you know just how it feels when you walk these streets in tears, and you know you won't turn back as you move along the track. There's no reason to despair, for there's always someone there who loves you more than you ever know. Doesn't matter. Alone in a world as cold as stone, in the darkness there's a light that will guide you through the night. When the time has come to see that the future's meant to be, and the choices you recall were no choices after all. There's no reason to despair, for there's always someone there who loves you more than you love him. Leave our worries where they stand. Trust the promise that was made that his love would never fade. And when it all comes to an end, he will take us by the hand and he'll show us through the land. Peace and joy will never end. There's no reason to despair, for there's always someone there who loves you more than you love him. Doesn't matter where you go.
I got carried away a little bit. <laughs> well, we really, we you got know, time for one on. more? We got time for one more, yes. Yeah. On the list here. Yeah. Do we have one more? Yeah. Uh, Melissa, if we don't have time, just, just cut us off, right? <laughs> just fade us out. We want to thank you all. Don't forget how much we love you. Uh, think of you. Tomorrow, we're going to go on just like that. Just like that. More of the same. from Double Time Recording Studio in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Thank you for watching and all your continued support. Please make sure and comment on how much you enjoyed the show and share it with your friends. Join us next time for another edition of The Musical World of the Kruger Brothers.